Sea of Legends is a narrative-driven sandbox game. As you explore a world full of desperate duels, dastardly villains, and sordid trysts, you'll uncover strange mysteries and colorful creatures. In these shared stories, your choices will often connect and collide with other players' decisions. It all started with a simple question. How could we integrate a board game full of minis and tableau building with branching narratives? And luckily, we just aced it on the first try. Okay, not exactly. We had to try a lot of different concepts and ideas before we found the perfect system for Sea of Legends. And in this video, we're gonna walk through our process and show you how that narrative has evolved. To start, we knew we wanted to try out a choose-your-own-adventure narrative. We played all sorts of story-driven board games, like Above and Below, Tales of Arabian Nights, and This War of Mine. There was a lot to like about these games, but we also saw there was an opportunity to do something new, something different, especially if we were wild enough to add an app into the mix. Initially, we assumed that players would be able to adventure anywhere at any time. We were excited about creating long, beautifully detailed stories for players to uncover over the course of the game. Our first adventures revolved around the different factions in the world, starting with the undead hordes of the Dreadtide and the ancient merfolk of the children of Tlaloc. Unfortunately, we quickly realized they would be more fun if they involved your love or perhaps even your nemesis. And while that was fun, we began to wonder if these characters should have their own goals, their own desires that they might even pull you into, just like in real life. Each time you go on an adventure, you'd have a chance to cut your nemesis down a peg or get one step closer to finding true love, unlocking new abilities along the way. And while that was fun, we wondered what would happen if you scorned a lover or romanced a nemesis. Could they shift sides? So we made them double-sided, with different sets of abilities for each side, then separated them into four distinct classes, Thief, Noble, Brute, and Barfly, which would each have their own pool of stories to pull from. And then we created a database to utilize text substitution in-app to add specific details and unique dialogue for each character. Luckily, we were able to put together an amazing team of writers, so Ryan wasn't just buried under the 700 plus pages worth of content we'd need. Working with a large team has allowed us to add more specificity to each story. This app allows us to do things we've never seen done in a board game before, creating multiple paths through each adventure with various endings and different turning points delivering stories that emphasize character and build together into one coherent, interconnected narrative. Check out our other two videos about game design and art to learn more about what's happening behind the scenes.